What's going on, everybody? This is Kev the Barber with another classic, and today we're gonna be talking about Omnicord. If you should get it, what's the purpose? Does it help? Does it even matter? This video is supposed to be a little different. I was actually just gonna show you guys me doing the Omnicord. Once I put it on Instagram, a lot of people were asking me questions about, hey, how does it work? What do I think about it? Do I really need this? Is this really reliable? Things like that. So I thought I need to change up the content a little bit just to show you guys exactly what I think. I've had, I've been using Omnicord for about a year now. Um, I have it in my shop. At first I had two. Now every single clipper that was ever recorded is now using Omnicord. It's a really nice system, especially in this space. First, I'm gonna tell you guys what it is. So it's simply a way to organize your chords. That's what I think of it as. It doesn't really improve your speed. It doesn't really do any, it's just chord organization and efficiency, especially if you're a traveling barber too. There's a lot of, there's. it's a very innovative product in my opinion. Hats off to the person who made this. I wish I did. You know, you know there's, there's like, Little genius things, you just feel like, damn, that was so brilliant. I wish I came up with it. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I love gear and I'm gonna make more gear videos because I'm just a gear junkie. I, I, I just love all the gear and it just is dope. But anyway, so here's my GTX, something I was going through Omnicord with. Essentially what you do is you basically take chords, the regular chord that it comes with, detach it and then put it back on. Of course, you guys who who are looked into this a little bit, know that already. And people get a little intimidated with the cords. That's why I make these videos. It's not that hard to rewire your clipper. It's literally very, it's extremely intuitive actually. You don't really have to watch a video or anything. I don't really watch videos. I just look at it, see how it looks. You know, get a little basic knowledge on electrical work. Make sure everything's plugged out. Cause electrical, uh, uh, a wire is just metal until a current goes through it, it's not. It's, it's generally harmless. You gotta make sure you do things cleanly so that when you turn it on, it doesn't go crazy. Don't wanna scare you guys, it's still overall simple. And if you're really scared of doing this, they have provided a service for you to actually send your clipper and then they do it yourself, right? So let's start with the pros. Like I said, it takes away all the cords, every single cord, it's really dope. I have four clippers up here and I would have to have four wires and four plugs um, to place in, but now I, all I have is one. All I have is one cord, and only one thing needs to be plugged in, and I just choose each clipper that I wanna plug in, right? So that's extremely dope, that the fact that there's less wires, less tangling, I won't have to, after every cut, reassemble uh, for people who have a lot of clippers. Reassemble the clippers or anything like that. It's just straightforward, and that's it. Um, I really like that about it. I also like um, when you're traveling, right? If you're trying to put your clippers inside of a box, you gotta cord up all these cords. If you got like four or five clippers, you gotta cord up four or five times. Um, if you use Omnicord, you just put all the clippers in there and you have one cord to wrap up every single time. The time to pack up. For me, when I was in college, moving my clipper case from my dorm room to the stairwell was a pain simply because the wires, you have to rewire the things, make sure you're wiring it correctly. Packing and unpacking is extremely simple because there's only one wire. Um, there's only one plug that you have to worry about. There, there are a few cons that I see with this. For one, it's one thing you gotta understand about Omnicore, just by looking at their website, and look at the way they do things, you it screams third party. You know, it just screams, this is a third party company. They're doing things independently. They're looking at the clippers. They're looking at the way it's manufactured and they're mimicking it and adding this. This will be their patent. I think the patent is pending still. Um, so they work alone. They don't work with the companies because if they did, if I, I know for a fact that I didn't talk to them or anything like that. They The reason I know that they are not working with the companies is because the wiring and even the, the small uh, hardware right here, it's not identical to the manufacturer's hardware. It's di like, this is supposed to be the GTX cord. It's it's difficult to fit here. Um, It's really hard to clamp on. It gets really difficult. Even with the, the washer here, was it didn't fit the screw. I don't know if I got this on camera, so I'm gonna show you guys. So, you know how my cord here had this attached. Is it, is it 
focus on. It had this attached, right? And I somehow broke it in trying to twist it. Um, something I'm seeing, I'm noticing with with the Omni cord is that this is the piece right here. A little gripe I'm having is that everything isn't made identical identically. Like if you look at this, this piece right here, it has enough space to easily fit in the side of this GTX. If you look at the difference here, this one has more space than this one. So I had to literally jam this in there. It was really difficult and it didn't fit properly. The measurements aren't actually the same. Same goes for this piece right here. This piece has a bigger hole. This is the, the stock the stock wire than this one. This one is smaller. If you end up getting this GTX, I try, I'd get a drill bit and try and move this out. But since I already broke it, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna clip this off and then wire these two together and then see what happens. But ultimate thing is bad design for the GTX. It's a little too hard to do this. It's not as intuitive. It's not, it's not like instant um, replacement because there's there's certain measurements that are off and they need to redo the measurements it's not as precise as I would like it to be some wires are too long and it gets it's a real hassle for the GTX the GTX is one there's three ways that I've seen in clippers that you attach things you either plug it in you screw it together or you actually have to weld it or um, Use a heat shrink, which is, that's the hardest one. That's the most complicated way of doing things. The second problem I have with it is that when you're using this Omnicord, this piece right here, you have to plug, this is where you plug it in. So let me get the plug. So this is an added weight that usually would not be there if you had a regular cord. So when I'm cutting, this is waving. This is, you can feel this weight. It's a different feel. And if you cut for a long time, you understand how important feels are. You know, as a barber, you really hate the fact that this changes the way the dis weight distribution of your clipper. Personally, it doesn't bother me that much, especially to get used to it. If you're a person who likes to flick your wrist hard, you probably don't want to get this product. I'm telling you that right now because this is going to be hitting the chair. It's going to be hitting your client. It's going to be waving. It'd be extremely annoying. It really keeps the base. The only way that you'd be able to do that is if you were to hold this wire as well. And then now you kind of like, or just hold this, you kind of like take away the weight and the, you know, the weight distribution is kind of controlled in that sense. But if you aren't capable of doing that, if you don't want to hold the wire and all of that, then you probably shouldn't get this clipper. Another comment that I've read and seen from people is, is the time factor. Um, when you pick up a clipper, some people like just to pick up a clipper and go, pick up the next one, drop it, pick it up and go. Honestly, it's it only takes about five seconds to switch from one to the next. Five seconds, sure, a certain barber would say, that's a long time. Like, how many times are you switching clippers in one haircut? You know what I'm saying? It's not, not more than four or five times. What's that? Four times five, that's 20 seconds. You got, to me, the most annoying thing is having all these clippers and swiveling the chair, moving from left to right, moving my clipper, not putting it, not putting the clipper right back on the same hook, you know, I, which I have a habit of doing, a bad habit of doing. It just retangles the whole thing. And then after a few cuts, you got a tangled wire. You have to take out all the clippers and put them back and really just rearrange them again. That time factor is more than 20 seconds. And I absolutely hate that. Omnicord completely eliminates that. Um, so to me, the time isn't really a con because you're saving time in the long run, in my opinion. Certain people still think you're losing time, but you know, the price point, each one is about $15. Um, I believe they add on, I don't know, 10 for 10 or $20 for, for, for them to assemble it for you. So that little service is dope. Um, like I said, I was going to show you guys, I'll, I'll probably show you a few clips showing you how I, I did the, the GTX, which com was a complete fail. I broke wires, messed it up. I might actually have to just buy a new cord and then redo it because it really pissed me off. The GTX Omnicord really, 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 really pissed me off. The, uh, the installment for the, the speed line, any Oster product is completely easy. The, the, um, same for the wall detailers. But other than that, it's completely fine. I also did the wall seniors. I think I think the 
but Andis, Andis is extremely difficult too. If you're not a wide person, you don't want to do this, then I probably wouldn't. But I advise everybody to know everything about their products. Like if you know everything about the clipper that's in your hand or the clipper that you're using, then you have a lot more control of it when one, it breaks or if anything goes wrong or anything like that, you won't have to pay somebody to do it. That's why I'm a fanatic for things like this. I'll never have Omnicore do it for me. It's, I, I wouldn't pay for that. But because I take pride in actually knowing what I'm doing, knowing what's in the clipper, knowing the engine, knowing how it's wired and all that type of stuff, because I just feel, you know, it's, it's better that way. So um, if you have any questions or any suggestions, if you've actually had Omnicord before, let me know in the comment section below. I really love this product. Um, I'm going to be showing more videos of how to actually do each one. Um, I just felt like the best time that what people were asking for right now was the review. If you should get it or not, I'm with go get it if you really have enough. If the person who's a barber in a shop who has clippers and they really don't like the wiring and all that. Sorry guys, my memory card got full and got to finish the video like this. But this product is for somebody who has, I think, a lot of clippers and they need it for the clipper organization or somebody who travels. It's really convenient. If you just have one or two clippers, you're a beginner. I wouldn't stress about this yet. This is not for you. Um, you know, this is for the professionals, people who have been doing things, you really need it for the, for the time and the convenience. Um, right now, they actually just came out with a battery. I think it's extremely cool. The battery is you plug it in and you can become mobile. You can cut on the beach, you can cut it anywhere in the house. You're not confined to a plug. I think it's extremely dope. But I'm going to have to end this video right now. The, the video is a little bit long. Hope you guys like this video. Like I said, comment down below. Let me know what you think. If you learned anything, think anything about Omnicord. If you like it, if you don't like it, let me know. I'll see y'all in the comments. See you guys in the next video.